Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use this animation group of properties. And in previous tutorials I always activated my inactive objects simply by moving my activator manually using this hand tool. But uh, you also can attach your activator component to object which you move by your script or you, maybe they have uh, some animation clip. But in some cases you may need just simple basic animation from one point to another, nothing special. And there is no reason to create all these additional project files. Uh, so you can use this animation group of properties just to create simple animation from one point to another. Uh, so uh, first property here is duration. And again, pretty straightforward. It allows you to define uh, the time, uh, how much time it will take to your, hold your animation. So uh, there, uh, here you can see there are two activators. This one I set to two seconds. With this one, I set it to six seconds. And now I will create the simple uh, animation. I will use this by global position later. I will show you all this, what all this means. So to create simple animation, all you need to do is position your activator where you want it to be, and then click here, add position. Now you can see it adds here one, it's, it's positioned in global space because I have here my global position list, position animation type. Next, you need to do just to move your activator where you want it to move to be moved or maybe I will move it here and click here add position so here my second position and this time I will set it here and click add position again now since I'm using this by global position list type I can move my activator whenever I want but when I will start I will I can click here this start button or use public method start for activator can see it start moving from its first position to the second one and then to the third one and it activates whenever it, uh, all inactive fragments which it touches so uh, okay I won't create the same for this one I will just set uh, duration from I will change duration from six second to two seconds here so you'll see the difference now, uh, obviously, it will be much faster. You can see it takes only two seconds to move from starting first position to the last one. So this is how duration works. Next property here is scale animation. So here you can see, in, uh, as you can see, uh, when I create my animation, I record uh, only position, but again, in some cases, I will clear it. So this is how you can clear your um, uh, cached uh, animation. Click clear, clear all and it will clear all this position list uh, information. So again, I will click here out position. Then I will move it here and click out position again. And now, uh, as you can see, I have the same for this second uh, activator here. Uh, but this time I have set its scale animation to 10. This activator first one has scale animation 1. It means that it's turned off. It won't work. For this one I set it to 10. And again it means that this object and its uh, collider will be scaled from its uh, original scale. Uh, it will be 10 times at the end. Uh, so let me show you. So here's my activator without scale animation. It just stay as this. Its size doesn't change. For this one, I set scale animation 10 and you can see while it moves, it's getting bigger. So this is how uh, activation by scale works. And again, if you see that uh, uh, you don't need all this uh, helpers. You can turn off show gizmo just to prevent from your view from all these uh, spheres which you can use to select uh, your activator. Okay, and now finally the most important group of properties here is position animation type. First one is global position. I already show you, but I'll show you again. So 
here you can set uh, you, should, you need to set position animation type to buy global position list and in this case you can see that uh, when i add position it adds its uh, position in the world its global position uh, if i will move it here click add position again again now you can see it also added it, its position in uh, global uh, coordinates and now when I add position again, again, all position in the world space. So whenever I will, I can move my actuator any, anywhere I want. When I will start its animation, it will jump to its first position. So you can see it start exactly from where I recorded my first position. So this is how uh, by global position list, uh, position animation type works. Next position type is local position so for this one I set position animation type to buy local positions this one in this case when I start caching my positions it uh, it's very important uh, when actuator will be when it will start its animation because uh, right now I will hit add position here and again first position is always will be recorded in uh, world space Now I will move it here, click add position again. And this time you can see it only record offset relative to its first position. So uh, again, I will add position my third position here. Now I can move it here, or maybe I can even start here. So if your position animation type set to buy local position list, you can when whenever you will start animation it will start from where your activator is and it will just play animation relative to its starting position in global position it jumps to where it was recorded and in local position it starts from where it uh, activator star actually located or when you start playing animation so this is the difference between by local position and by global position list next one is by static line you can also use lines to define your animation path in this case i'm using this line and basically static line means that uh, it will cache all this animation at start and then doesn't matter where your uh, line will be you can move your line you can delete it all animation path will be cached at the beginning I will increase my duration to 10 seconds here. So you can see you need to define this line as this line field. You can start animation. Now you can move this line. It doesn't matter. You can see activator just using this path because it cached it. Also, you can see that it cached all this path in this position list here. So in case you need this information, you can take it from here and here my dynamic line and dynamic line you need to use this type in case you have moving line so it will stick to your line and again i have activator and i set this line here in this line field i also will increase duration maybe 15 seconds so i'll have enough time so now you can see i can start move this line course <laughs> I thought that it's a bug I forgot to set here by dynamic line oops back 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 15 seconds in this case you can see that it sticks to your line so in case you want to have dynamic line maybe you move it or control in some other way you can use this dynamic line position type for your activator okay i guess that's it with activator i showed all the properties and uh, thank you for watching